Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're playing some BK today for the first time in what feels like forever with his new skins, sort of skins, and also, yeah, new sort of build, basically meshing two videos into one, the meta side of where BK is at the moment, and also covering his two new skins, Crash King 48 and 47. They're not full skins because they have the same effects, but they're also a little bit above where a recolor would be. Personally, I think these are really cool because they're a lot less work than full skins and they can give them out as rewards for challenges and stuff. You get this one through Trials of the Realm, the first quest, and then this one from the Bounty Store. So yeah, hopefully we see more of those in the future where they fit, of course. And then for the loadout, it is different depending on if you're on Siege Normal or Siege Beyond because if you're on Siege Beyond, you're probably still going to grab this. And even on Normal Siege, this is still a really good choice. Just cut myself off because I was about to explain the setups, but they're really self-explanatory. Quarter Rise is in hand now. You can get Death Hands on BK. Sort of makes sense. This essentially works as a Death Hands 1, although not 100% but you get what I mean so if you do want reload speed most of the time I'd still go for this because you can get death anthony like right at the end instead of getting it earlier on which you might want to do with this it really depends it just really falls down to if you want reload speed or not and a bit of reset on the F instead and yeah my whole point is that previously you had to buy quarter rice you didn't really have room or the credits and time and stuff to buy death hands whereas now you do, and you're probably still going to go for this anyway, but just in case, this is actually an option, whereas it wasn't really before. Might as well also mention that I've been messing around a ton with my sensitivity recently. I've been playing Valorant a little bit again after not touching it for like two years or however long. So I've actually managed to get sort of used to a lower sensitivity because I overall use quite a high one compared to most people. Some people use like 30 centimeters for a 360 in Paladins and other games. I use like right now at its lowered compared to what it was before like 8 basically 1600 dpi 6.4 on paladins and it's pretty quick but slower than what i'm used to not really going to talk about it though in this video i'll probably talk about it a bit more if i do a stuff video or maybe i'll do a video just about my paladin settings and how i have everything set up because i get asked that i guess quite a bit even though i mix it into my normal stuff more than i used to which is why i haven't made one in forever but shout outs to uh, Dambo, we've also got a Makoa, an Andro, and a Betty. We're on Onslaught Primal Court. And then for this side, a Yag, an Azan, a Furia, a Koga, and a Zin. So definitely going to go for Chain Reaction here. And then I think the standard set with the Reload, because we're probably going to need it. One important thing to note with BK is even though you can stack a bunch of bombs on a wall without any problem, they don't drop off. On an actual character, you can only stack three before they drop off of the character and then land on the floor beneath them. It's not a problem with Yag, but with the characters, something to note if you don't play that much BK. I'm going to need a little bit of a warm up though, because even though I did play a little bit of BK, not enough to be fully warmed up. We just got a very, very cheesy kill on the Kogo. We'll just stack the bombs there on the freaking Yag. That was like six, wasn't it? That was an insta-kill. We did try and time it when she got out of her F. That was still kind of crazy. Bombs on the Asan. Thank you very much. Gonna stop talking about my stuff though now because this is actually a BK video. There goes the Asan. We're shredding them right now. Even though the score doesn't show it, we're doing a really good job. Yeah, I do really like this skin though. I wish they'd have maybe done a full version of it with like all the effects and all the work put in. But this is just really solid even without that. And even if they were going to do a full Crash Dummy one, like I said in the intro, I don't know what they could possibly do with the effects because it's pretty limited in what would work. There goes Koga, not doing too bad so far on BK, but could definitely be doing a little bit better. We'll throw the Q over there. Hello, Yag. There's a bomb. There's a bomb. There's one more. Furia. There's another one. My Q just detonated and got like a triple stun. Damba with the ult. Sin is a goner. Hello, Furia. God, you're on like two health. Are you kidding me? If I had raw subjects, you'd be a goner. One cheeky little bomb. There we go. Yag is just there. There's three bombs on the Azan. He is Audi. Nope. The bombs are still laggy. It's definitely better than it once was with the BK, but it still feels really jank. That was a pretty goddamn huge hit. I went for life rip just so that we can get really big heals on stuff like that. Koga went for the ult. I'm going to try and spin. Okay, we'll just detonate on the Zin. That works. He's not gone, even though he should have been. I dead hit a Koga, just delaying my inevitable death. Never mind. Makoa with the God tier save. I pretty much just thought I was dead there and stopped playing, which is a really bad habit. There goes nobody because I'm being Zin ulted. I'm trying to go after the Ag a bit, but she's either dead or being pocketed by the Fear. So I don't really have too much of a chance. We'll go for the ultimate. We'll just drop right here. Or maybe we'll go round. All right. Hello, Zin. That worked. I just gave up on that ult being anything. Okay. The Ag's just here. There's four bombs on her. Okay. She went into the queue, so I timed that terribly. We've got life rip too, but whenever I'm being cauterized, that is really heavily being countered. Little bomb there on the Koga. Jump on the Furia. She's gone. The team is making this really easy with the CC. There goes the Zin. Is he dead? There we go. If you're wondering why my video schedule has been more ass than usual, it's just because my voice has been really, really scuffy every time I've tried to record a video. Either Paladins has crashed on me, and I've had the lobby bug, which has messed stuff up, or yeah, just my actual voice not wanting to properly cooperate and be listenable. I can't kill the Furia. Getting pulled by the Yag. I'm dead. 
Okay, that was pure scuff. What was that? Score is actually even, which I'm glad to say because I much prefer an even match than an actual stomp. There goes the Yag. We'll pop the F, which didn't work, and then go for the ultimate. Just drop on him here. Okay, I thought I'd have got him. That's a stun from Fury. Am I dead now? I think I might be. Did try and get some sort of play on the Zin one hit off yeah, okay you can't actually do the f on those stairs i just tried to do it again i feel like i'll have a pretty solid amount of damage but i could have had a lot more if i just played a tiny bit better like i'm really close to making these plays super solid i'm just missing by like an inch we've got one minute 30 left and they are eight points ahead of us they've actually recovered it we'll stack some bombs there well that's going to be an azan stun so that will be a free kill right there we go thank you very much hello enemy yagarath there's just a bunch of bombs on her. That only gave me a 130 heal. That's disgusting. We landed that extra one there. It gave me a huge one. We'll drop the Q there. It's a bomb or two for the Zin. I timed that so shit. Hello, Koga. I'm just dead, right? Oh my god. Can we get him? No, I'm really quite slow at doing the left click, right click thing. I feel like when I'm playing Chain Reaction, I just have something in my head that stops me from doing it because I'm trying to stack bombs. I feel like with BK, I've got a lot of bad habits, but we'll go for the ultimate F play. Just detonate on him here, maybe. Or do we go around, do a little sneaky one on the Andro? Not Andro. You're a uh, freaking, what's his name? I was going to say Fury, and then I got Andro, and it's an Azan. Jesus Christ, that was bad. And there we go. There is the defeat. They deserve the win. I think I really could have done a much better job there on Bomb King, although my damage would probably be fine. I was really just having a hard time getting rid of the Squishies, which is sort of the trade-off if you go for Chain Reaction over Royal Subjects. I bet he could have done much better there, but she is a new character, of course. Andro did pretty good, so did Dan Prince, so did Makoa. Dan for their side, Zin and Koga did a great job. Fury did side. Yak was playing a bit weird, and Azan also didn't do great, but played the objective. A turn will Riku, jump straight into a game team. We'll play with the red one. Okay, the whole match it's archive shout outs to uh, Corvus and also Amoji. We've got a Yag and a Sati there as well. A pretty damn scary team there for King of the Hill, but for their side, Fury, Grok, Charlotte, Makoa, and Ceres. So yeah, we'll go for Accelerant just to force them to buy resilience because we don't have any other CC. We'll go Death Rounds Life Rip. We've got Stunning. Never mind. I'm not going to grab this just because I don't want to mess over uh, Corvus. We'll switch it up. And then we've got Corrosive Window and Toot. And for their side, Half Shell, Mortar Reach, Exterminate Maelstrom and Sandra. Maybe I shouldn't have gone life rip because that CC from Fury is going to be a pain. I should not really have any excuse now if I'm missing my left click, right click combos. That was actually a pretty good set there. Try to land as many bombs on them here as I can. There's an F which didn't throw me but did throw the shawl in. Okay, there's more bombs on him. Shredded, Jesus. Gotta give my boy Corvus props. He's doing a great job here on heals and I'm doing a terrible job on bombs. We've got the all tap so we'll go ahead and just pop it. Waiting. There we go. There's a little detonate. That was so goddamn bad, but it still worked. Nearly got rid of Makoa there as well. We'll throw a Q behind us. Charlene hit me with a big thing there. Just going to stack bombs for the self-heal and then throw myself over here. What am I doing? Run over left. There's a couple little two, three hundreds. That was an 800. There's another one. We actually just killed the Ceres. Okay, do I stack them on the floor and try and get a cheeky one here? 800, that sucked. There's a Q just there to throw them off a little bit. Hello, Koa. We tried to not get hooked there, which luckily worked. Hello, Charlene. I think I'm just dead. Q there shredding me will go for yeah resilience guess we're gonna go for the ult do a bit of a fake do anything i'm going right and then we'll just go straight on them although they're obviously just sitting on the objective there's two there's third one and there goes the makoa it's gonna push in i wish there was somewhere you could gen ammo on bomb king and even though i had resilience too though i felt like i was stunned for a century but obviously she is full stun fury yeah? so it does kind of make sense but resilience to his not really worth anything considering i still feel like i'm basically guaranteed to be killed if she hits me with it we'll throw the bomb drop the q over i feel like i'm playing again super messy in this one i might get something though that's a three man two man no one's gonna do anything with it though finish off our resilience get some haven obviously i just got bombed the second i did that hello saris you're still dead i don't know how i lived there shouts corvus that bomb was terrible again a little bit of a closer look i can't do my inspect because it's bugged dead to the shoulder and they all pushed in there i was trying to get the ult off Fair enough, though. At least I didn't go on cooldown. We'll just get some more life rips. I think it's actually quite good on BK in this situation again. We're just about to pop the F, but it despawned or got destroyed. I'm not sure. Just straight here. There we go. Get a huge kill on the Makoa and the Ceres. Not Ceres. Fury. Ceres also died, though. Hello, Makoa. There's some bombs for you. A couple little 600s. 850. Actually got some pretty good damage on there. To be honest, I don't feel like I'm doing a terrible job on BK. I say as I die because I missed a bomb on Grok that looked like it should have hit him. All right, obviously I say this at the end of every video, but specifically in this one, if you've got any requests, I really would love to hear them because I'm trying to actually just catch up on the characters I haven't covered in forever or characters that have had massive meta changes in quite a while. Bomb Kings is a little bit different, even though I'm playing with the same build. Today, you can actually play them the other way if you want to without the reload speed and still get death rounds. It will just feel like a tier lower until right at the end where you finish it off, so probably would have actually made more sense in this match. Let's go for you. We've been generating it really, really quickly in this one. Let's go left. There's a detonate. He's dead. 
call. Thought I was dead to McCurr, but we actually hit him. I'm going to go for the F to try and do something. What am I doing? We're at your spawn, so I'm at a huge disadvantage here. Corvus with the god tier heals again. Honestly, whenever I have a Corvus on my team, I feel like I'm just safe, pretty much, regardless of what I'm doing. As long as I'm not messing up plays like that, we'll throw the Q here and just play the point. Somebody is on here. Hello, Xeris. You're gone. I really like having Corvus on my team, even though I don't like playing him. I imagine I very rarely go for him. Playing with a good Corvus just feels fantastic. That's done. To actually get the Ceres, but the bombs are a little bit out of reach. There's the insta reload. He's going for the F. I think I'm going to get hooked back in. Never mind, he used it already. Pretty useless damage there on the McCurd, so we're going to start look a little bit better. We'll throw the Q, bounced it on the door a little bit. Point has moved. We'll throw the Q in, sort of. There goes the Ceres and Grok. I thought Yag was ulting somebody there, but apparently not. It's going to push in on the Furia. That was a terrible play, and somehow I didn't get punished for it because our uh, Corvus is a god. We'll go for the orc, get more life rip. Hello, Makoa. That is the Sati going for the ult, trying to help her finish off the Ceres. That was a really good bomb, but it didn't actually hit because she went into the ghost. We'll throw the Q to save the Moji a little bit. Whenever we don't have Cauterize on us, the amount of healing we get from our stuff is kind of crazy. There's some bombs on the Makoa. Okay, there's one more. That's the Grok going for the ult. Hello, Furia. I don't know how I'm missing these so bad with the timing. There goes the Grok nearly. We'll throw the Q. Hello, Makoa. You're gone. There's the F. Sean's also here. He's gone. So is the Ceres. That's a double. That's a whole team wipe, but I only got two of the kills. Finish off Death Hands, which is doing barely anything other than if we reload without the detonate. We've seemingly got this one in the bag. 370 to 250. Well-deserved win, I would say. Even with resilience through that stun is super long, but it should be because she's putting like a ton of points into it. Tried to F, still dead. And yeah, there we go. There is the victory. Well-deserved win. I would say the team did a really good job in that one, specifically the Corvus and the Yag, is who wasn't noticing the most. I definitely did a way better job there, being more used to Royal Subjects and also being a little bit more warmed up. 21 to 6, 113k, really happy with that. Yag did solid. Corvus definitely the MVP there, in my opinion. Damage and healing, fantastic job. Moji, a bit of a weak link, but didn't do terribly. Sati also did fine for their side. I'd say the Shaolin did the best alongside the Grok. It was a pretty close game. I think they were only like 100 off or something, but I'm surprised it wasn't even closer. And yeah, there we go. That was a look at the new BK skins and sort of the new builds, but I guess it's more of the new item selection because you buy Death Hands first, or at least I do. It's technically more of a new build option, even with the new items. It's also, you know, more of an optional sort of thing. I don't know if I really say it's the meta because Cauterize, even though it's been removed for a while, still hasn't been long enough where you can properly define stuff, I think. I'd say give it a couple more months and we'll know for sure, but I don't know, maybe it's already sort of settled. I'm just not paying enough attention. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, like I said, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all really, really soon. And as always, stay frosty.